Hello, I'm CT Stilt, and I'm demonstrating the how to snap two objects to together who have very different topology. Um, as you can see here, this cube, I would like a vertex C to be. I'd like this circle to snap roughly, not really centered, but somewhere on the surface of this mesh. So in order to do that, um, I'm going to do a, a couple small tricks. So first thing I'm going to do is I need to designate which one of these points are. So which which point I want it to snap to. So just for the sake of this, I'm just going to stick this out here, like so. And modify. Okay. So now what I need to do is there's a certain amount of edges. I don't, in this case, there's four, but there are different widths. And let's kind of make this a little more extreme, a little bit just like that. So I can't really depict this kind of thing. Like I can't split it up and say, oh, that's roughly the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Edit Mesh Split Polygon Tool. And I'm just going to basically dissect it. Um, if I want it in the dead center, I can technically do it like this, where I just kind of dissect it. Now, this gives me the exact point on the mesh, but you'll kind of notice it'll bulge a little bit. And that's kind of normal. Uh, it's still trying to form the topology. When you have your topology that is like extruding like this, to where it's like different lengths and stuff, uh, that can cause a little bit of a render issue. I don't know if you're doing this intentional or not, but it can do so. So you typically want all your planes to be on the same field. So like this is flat, and this is flat, and this is flat, and that's flat. But when I take away the vertices, you can oh, never do that. Edit, delete, vertex there. So as you can see, this face is actually not flat. It's had, it's kind of wonky, and this is be a rendering issue. So anyway, uh, I have a vertex here. And I'm going to go over here to the circle, press insert, and I'm going to move the pivot point to the vertex. This is so I can move the object. That's not going to stay that way. And then I have the vertex here, so I'm just going to pretty much just snap it to the point. Just I just held down V and snapped it to it. So that would be roughly right in there. And then I would just kind of get rid of it. If I wanted to be more precise, I could create a locator, and I can put this locator on the mesh itself. So there's the vertex, and I'm just going to put, where is it, wireframe on shaded, thank you, snap it to there. And I can, you know, press the C key and go down the curve, so that way it follows the line of the mesh. and if I wanted to go down a particular point, let's move it about right here, and then I can slide down here, kind of like this, to get precisely on the mesh. The mesh is, uh, these lo edge lines don't have to necessarily be there. Once they're there, I can basically delete the vertex, and you'll notice that this space is no longer being applied to this. So honestly, I don't think the, the best solution would probably be to have your topology like this, so where it's not being deformed like that. Because if you're doing that on a character, most likely it's not going to really work that great. Um, due to the rendering issues and especially texturing, it gets like this flicker. Um, it's kind of hard to explain unless you actually see it. Sometimes it doesn't render at all, or it'll be like a black, uh, a different shade of it'd be like a black, but if it's red, then it's like a dark black. So it's kind of strange. But like I said, it kind of depends on what you're doing. Um, yeah, ask questions again if I'm not following correctly. I think this is what you're trying to do, where it's like deformed like this and you have no idea. Okay, so just let me know.